Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Ayer Sarin. Today I will uh, discuss and uh, give lecture about uh, R software. So let's start from uh, uh, the lecture here. Uh, so uh, here I prepare a PowerPoint uh, which mentioned about uh, R Studio and R project uh, in general. So uh, when we start from the definition, R is a software environment for statistical analysis or computing and uh, graphics visualization for uh, the data. Or it is uh, an object-oriented programming language, which means uh, R is object which can contain uh, data in the form of fields often known as attributes or properties and uh, a code in the form of procedure or methods. So with this, uh, we can conclude that uh, R is an object-oriented programming language and it compiles and runs in a wide uh, varieties of uh, platform uh, that means for uh, window, MIOS and uh, Unix and other uh, type of uh, computer platforms. So when we open the R project, uh, we see uh, two windows. The main uh, window, which is R GUI with uh, SAP. Uh, window which is our console in the console window uh, the cursor is waiting for uh, uh, us to type in some uh, our commands when we uh, see here uh, the greater than sign is uh, uh, displayed and the cursor is uh, waiting uh, us to uh, write or to type uh, some commands in R our software uh, can uh, be generated from uh, two uh, R components, which are R Studio and R Project. So uh, R Studio is an integrated development environment for R, and it is uh, available in an open source and uh, com commercial edition on the desktop, window, Mac, and uh, Linux. Uh, so uh, uh, we can download and uh, access uh, the R Studio from the uh, web. Uh, so R Studio includes a powerful coding tool designed to enhance uh, our productivity. So when we open the R Studio, we see four windows, which are uh, the console window, which is uh, uh, which can be uh, displayed uh, here. Here is a console window, uh, and here is a source window. Here you can see the environment window and file plot package help and viewer window here. So uh, when we uh, do in uh, R Studio, uh, we can use those four windows uh, in conjunction. So uh, R is uh, totally dependent on uh, packages. With uh, uh, with package, uh, we can do uh, whatever types of uh, statistical and graphical, as well as uh, geostatistical analysis with R. Uh, but without package, nothing can be uh, done in R software. So uh, packages are uh, mandatory to do whatever types of analysis in R. So when we uh, define uh, packages uh, uh, in terms of uh, R, packages are uh, a collection of R applications, data, and compiled code in a well-defined format. So uh, in directory where uh, packages are stored is uh, known as library. 
so uh, to uh, access uh, whatever types of package here we need to write as a library so here uh, the library is uh, comes to be ready to use so when is when we uh, see uh, the uh, package or the uh, function that we want to write here in uh, blue line we can uh, click on tab and uh, simply uh, use uh, the incoming uh, function or uh, package so uh, r comes with a standard set of base packages others are available uh, for download and installation at uh, CRAN or Bioconductor Bioconductor and CRAN are a website uh, which can be uh, uh, helpful for us to download packages when we are in our project so uh, to install package for the first time uh, we can use the command uh, install dot packages open bracket and uh, uh, double quotation and inside the double quotation we can write the package name that we want to install then by clicking enter we can install the package and to load the package at this session uh, we use the command require and open bracket and write the package name or we can also uh, use the command library and uh, open bracket and write the uh, package name so uh, if the command uh, when you do this or when you do whatever types of uh, analysis the if the command is not complete at the end of the line uh, in the console sheet uh, we will see the uh, uh, plus sign instead of uh, greater than uh, sign so uh, the command should be corrected when we see uh, the plus sign in the result sheet or in the console sheet uh, in uh, the R studio the command is, uh, should be separated by a semicolon or uh, a new line uh, so uh, when we uh, 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 use uh, the uh, commands uh, we need to uh, use semicolon to separate uh, uh, two or uh, more commands or we can uh, uh, use a new line by uh, hitting enter In RStudio, objects can be uh, assigned a value by using assignment operator less than minus, or we can also use uh, equal to. But in some cases, uh, the equals to sign uh, may not work. So uh, mostly, uh, it is advisable to use uh, less than minus sign to uh, assign uh, the object. So if you want to uh, write a comment, uh, we can uh, use uh, hashtag in R. Uh, in some cases, uh, the comparison operators are expressed with uh, uh, the sign. For example, uh, for equals to, we need to uh, use uh, double equals to sign. Uh, for not equal to, we can use uh, uh, punctuation mark and equals to for greater than or less than we can use greater than or less than sign and for greater than or equal to or less than or equal to we can use greater than or equal to or less than or equal to sign in our studio uh, when we use uh, the R studio uh, or the R software uh, three things uh, must uh, be known. Uh, those three things are uh, one, uh, R is a case sensitive, so if we miss capitalization, it will not work uh, uh, 
properly uh, for uh, the goal that we expected from the analysis. The uh, tab completion and arrows can improve typing speed and accuracy in RStudio. When we uh, write the command or the package that we want, uh, we uh, uh, advise to use tap and arrow uh, to improve the typing speed. And uh, if we see the plus sign uh, at the end of the result sheet or at the uh, RStudio sheet, the R waits us for more input. So we need to uh, uh, improve and uh, we need to add the required uh, uh, commands in R. So those uh, three things uh, must be known when we use uh, the R software. When we come to the data importing techniques in R, there are a lot of uh, data importing techniques in R. Uh, we can uh, import the uh, text or CSV file directly from the working directory using uh, read the table and by uh, using a double quotation mark we can uh, copy and paste the uh, file that we prepare for analysis or we can also read uh, CSV and file equals to uh, uh, the uh, uh, file name that we saved under uh, double quotation mark and we can also import the text and csv file directly using the rstudio uh, using import dataset command uh, the import uh, dataset command is here from uh, the, fi the file we can import the dataset and from here we can uh, uh, select the uh, spreadsheet type that we have saved our data. So from here, we can uh, directly uh, import the CSV or the text data. And you can also uh, read the Excel file. So to import the Excel file uh, using specific packages, uh, those uh, packages are uh, or is the XL connect package. So first, uh, before uh, directly trying to import the XL data, first uh, we need to uh, install package XL connect. So after installing XL connect package, we need to load uh, the XL connect package. And we can also uh, uh, rename uh, and write file with pass to call the excel file and uh, uh, next we need to read worksheet from file uh, to properly get the uh, sheet number in excel and finally by read worksheet uh, from uh, file we can uh, read the sheet one two or three of the excel file so uh, we can uh, import uh, the uh, data in different ways there are also uh, unmentioned or unexpressed uh, uh, ways of data importing when you come to data inspection uh, in our software we can inspect or manage the, our data uh, data uh, is or datum is uh, the value recorded in the field book, record book or data logging device that are to be entered into the computer. After the data entered in the computer or in the spreadsheet, it is possible to check the data using different method. Uh, this uh, inspection or uh, management uh, methods are uh, maybe statistical or graphical. Some of the technique uh, of uh, data inspection data inspections uh, are uh, data uh, 
transformation or transforming the data into uh, common or familiar units, we may collect and encode uh, the data in different units. So uh, we need to convert into the common units and summary of the data. We can see the summary or the descriptive statistics of our data. And uh, we can also uh, inspect our data graphically by using uh, box plot or scatter plot or histogram. Uh, some of the uh, inspection method expressed or mentioned here are uh, already uh, uh, discussed in a previous uh, video uh, entitled with outright testing uh, with Arrow software. Here we can also identify outliers uh, using R software. Uh, as uh, a research or as a researcher, uh, the outliers are the data pointers that have value greater than 1.5 interquartile or 1.5 or uh, as a general definition, outliers can be defined as uh, underestimated or uh, uh, unexaggerated observation from the, the collected data. So uh, this value greatly influences the normality of the data and uh, can influence also the assumption of analysis of variance or ANOVA in an experiment. Uh, so uh, the package outlier or multivariant outliers can be used to test the existence of the outlier in the collected data. So uh, uh, this is all about uh, an introductory for uh, uh, using R software, uh, especially for the beginners. Uh, so so we will meet with other video next time.